Hello guys, welcome to my channel Rahul Automation Studio. So in this video, I am going to explain you how you can add a screenshot in your Exchange report. So adding a screenshot in the report is very important. If you see there is a test case failure is there and if you want to debug the test case, so in that case, screenshot will help you a lot uh, to find out the root cause for the test case failure. So that's why you need to add a screenshot in your test report. And if you want to see what kind of information that you have entered and it is filled correctly in the form or not, so it will help you in, uh, in that way as well. So we already have a written screenshot, how to take a screenshot in that. So if you have not seen my video, please watch that video, how to take a screenshot in Selenium. So in this video, we are, I'm going to explain you how you can add this screenshot in the extent report. So we already have one extend test. So extend test dot log, you have to use a log method for it. And uh, log status dot, you can enter as a pass as it, if, if you want to just see the information, like the information that have entered in the form is correct or not. So you can uh, uh, write it like as a pass. And if the test case has been failed, so in that case you can do as a, log test log status dot fail so let's try with log status dot fail if your test case has been failed so it will take a screenshot for you and the test step will get failed in the extent report and complete test case is issued as a failed test case so you have to enter extent test dot add you have you have to use like a add screen capture right so and we already have the screenshot path. So DSC file, just copy to this dot get absolute path. So absolute path will give us the path of the screenshot. Now let's try to execute the test case. So this is the code that uh, will add a screenshot in your extent report. Let's see it is adding uh, screenshot in the report or not. Let's execute the test case. So extent report.html file, it will create for the extent report. So test case execution has been completed. Let's go to the report and see if screenshot has been added to the extent report or not. So open the file. So if you see this screenshot, this is a failure that we have added as a well, failure, but the screenshot is not attached properly. You can see screenshot is not attached properly in the report. So what you have to do now? So to have to add a screenshot in the extent report, basically you have to add as a base64, right? So you have seen this method, right? So here you have to use add base64. So you have to basically add this line of code as well after taking a screenshot. So you have taken a screenshot and this is an input stream. So this is a path that you will be converting into the input stream. And after uh, assigning to the variable to the input stream, you have to convert into the byte. So convert it into a byte array. After converting into byte array, you have to encode it. You have to encode and then you have to do in a string. So after doing this, you will be having a string for base64 encoding, right? Now you have to add it in a different way, like, extent test dot log log status dot fail comma extent test dot add you have to use first we have used the method at screen capture and in that it is taking as a string image 64 now we are going to use a method add base 64 screenshot and it is taking as a string of like base64 type. So just add, use add 
base screen 64 and in that you have to pass the parameter like this. Okay, so you have to pass it like data image as PNG image is it and which is having base 64 and this is the path for it. Now let's try to execute the test case. So it is opening the browser and it will launch a google.com in it. And after that, it should take a screenshot of the browser. So our test case execution has been completed. Now just open the extend report. So now you can see as we have added as a fail step. So it is showing as a fail and on the fail step, uh, so it is taking a screenshot of it and it is attaching properly in our extend report. So to add a screenshot in the extend report, you have to write some extra step in the screenshot. So up the code is same till the taking the screenshot, but to attach the screenshot in extend report, you have to write down few extra line and you have to convert into base 64. And after that, you have to add that line of code and it will attach the screenshot in an extend report. So many uh, face the challenge how to add a screenshot in the extend report. So this is how you can add a screenshot in your extend report and you can resolve it there. So thank you guys. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe and also share with your friends and colleagues. Thanks to everyone. Bye.